Facing doubts about its human lunar landing system, SpaceX is intensifying its focus on efficiency, refining its lunar design to accelerate progress and reduce costs while maintaining reliability. This optimized strategy will likely boost Starship's progress, mitigate potential risks, and give SpaceX a significant advantage over the Artemis competition. Success in this endeavor would not only revolutionize lunar exploration, but could also alter humanity's trajectory toward Mars and beyond. Let's discuss it all in today's episode of NR Studio. The past week has presented some of the toughest and most crucial challenges yet for SpaceX's Lunar Starship initiative. The organization has faced considerable criticism, particularly from current and former NASA officials skeptical of Starship's pace of progress and its technical challenges. These concerns have reignited discussions about SpaceX's ability to adhere to NASA's tight Artemis mission schedule and fulfill its ambitious commitment to return humans to the moon. However, historical patterns suggest that SpaceX typically does not back down from challenges. This time, SpaceX's response is based on a single guiding principle that has characterized many of its significant achievements. Simplification. In a recent communication, SpaceX clarified its position. Since the contract award, we have consistently been responsive to NASA as Artemis III needs have evolved and have proposed methods to simplify the mission to align with national priorities. In response to the latest request, we have shared and formally reviewed a simplified mission framework and operational concept that we believe will facilitate a faster return to the moon while improving crew safety. While the company did not specify exactly what this simplification entails, the tone of their communication conveys confidence. SpaceX further emphasized that Starship remains the fastest route to returning humans to the lunar surface and is essential to achieving the Artemis program's goal of establishing a long-term, sustainable presence on the moon. This statement makes it clear that SpaceX considers its methods superior to any currently available alternative. Moreover, this statement comes at a crucial time, as NASA has opted to reopen the Artemis III competition. SpaceX appears determined not only to remain competitive, but to completely overhaul the competition. So, how does SpaceX plan to simplify its lunar mission? The company highlighted a more streamlined mission architecture and operational concept. This terminology hints at possible changes in how Starship coordinates with NASA systems, such as the Orion spacecraft, or even a complete re-evaluation of the steps required to land on the lunar surface. One potential scenario is that SpaceX might take a more direct route, allowing Starship to carry astronauts straight from Earth to the Moon and return, thereby eliminating the necessity to connect with NASA's Orion capsule in lunar orbit. This would remove an entire layer of complexity, expense, and danger. Additionally, this approach could enable SpaceX to function separately from the slower, more bureaucratic structures that NASA has been creating for years, such as the Space Launch System. By streamlining the process, SpaceX could move swiftly and retain complete authority over the timeline and execution of the mission. This alteration would not merely accelerate operations, but also emphasize a clear distinction between SpaceX's nimble, iterative methodology and NASA's conventional, cautious strategy. This would assertively demonstrate that progress in space exploration is a result of innovation, not red tape. The simplification is even more evident when looking at the most recent renderings of the Starship HLS design. In contrast to earlier models, the updated version presents a more refined and effective design. The previous iterations included complex folding leg systems and a complicated setup of black glass panels surrounding the crew area. While they were visually impressive, these designs created difficulties in manufacturing, assembly, and structural integrity. The second version, which utilized a fixed leg design, addressed some of those issues. However, it introduced new challenges, such as restricted flexibility for stacking and landing, along with cumbersome solar panel setups. The latest design elegantly resolves these concerns. To begin with, the crew compartment now adopts a more consistent structure. The number of windows has been minimized, maintaining just enough for visibility while enhancing structural strength and improving safety. Fewer windows also contribute to better thermal protection and privacy for the crew. It's a careful balance between functionality and comfort, 
critical factors for extended missions. Moreover, the crew access door has been streamlined to seamlessly integrate with the elevator system used for lunar surface deployment. The dimensions of the door now correspond with those of the airlock, which facilitates efficient crew movements and equipment transfers. This improved design not only boosts safety and functionality, but also suggests future possibilities for Starship. When viewed from a horizontal perspective, this same entrance could serve as a gateway for a lunar base, indicating how the HLS variant might eventually evolve into a long-standing moon habitat. It is likely that these legs incorporate a spring or damping mechanism to absorb impacts when landing on rough lunar ground. This adjustment embodies both ease of design and intelligent engineering, streamlining complexity while boosting dependability. The enhancements within the vehicle are equally remarkable. Previous concept illustrations showed a two-level design, which various critics claimed was too confined for prolonged career use. The updated layout showcases a much more spacious and practical interior that includes more work areas, living spaces, and even an observation section resembling a balcony, providing wide-ranging vistas through the windows on the side. The centrally located staircase facilitates easier transitions between floors, encouraging improved mobility and efficiency for astronauts during their tasks. Collectively, these modifications illustrate how a focus on simplicity and design can yield substantial practical benefits. This renewed emphasis on straightforwardness could enable the company to accomplish what was once deemed unattainable, facilitating a quicker, safer, and more sustainable route to the moon. It would not only affirm SpaceX's engineering principles, but also prompt an asset to reconsider the way human space missions are crafted in today's era. So, what are your thoughts on SpaceX's strategy for simplification? Is this method genuinely capable of bringing humans back to the moon sooner than anticipated? Should you agree, feel free to express your enthusiasm in the comment section below. And remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel for further developments on SpaceX's venture to the moon and beyond. Simplicity has consistently been at the heart of SpaceX's engineering approach. Now, it may hold the key to succeeding in the lunar race. The company's latest announcements clearly indicate one thing. This streamlined methodology is not solely about sleek design, but rather about attaining greater speed, efficacy, and dependability. SpaceX has highlighted that its simplified mission strategy revolves around a singular aim, landing on the moon faster than any other competitor, including those with highly optimistic schedules. Presently, NASA's Artemis III mission is officially pegged for the middle to late 2027 timeframe. If NASA chooses to initiate a new contract bidding process for the mission, as has been speculated, this schedule is not expected to advance. Nonetheless, SpaceX appears motivated to progress ahead of timeline expectations to fulfill the requirements of the Artemis program and preserve its lead. SpaceX aims to achieve its key objectives possibly by the first half of 2027. Yet the pressing question is, are they indeed capable of accomplishing it? According to SpaceX's latest progress report, the outlook seems increasingly favorable. The company disclosed that it has successfully completed 49 significant objectives pertaining to the Starship HLS initiative. Each successful trial brings SpaceX closer to demonstrating that Starship is more than just an idea. It is a fully operational lunar lander prepared for crewed missions. This achievement has bolstered confidence in the aerospace sector that SpaceX can successfully send astronauts to the moon, either on schedule or perhaps even ahead of NASA's timeline. However, significant efforts are still needed before this aspiration can be realized. One of the most vital challenges ahead is the finalization and validation of SpaceX's in-orbit refueling system, which is fundamental to the Starship Lunar Mission framework design. The company has stated that several refueling tests are scheduled for next year. These tests are expected to begin around mid-2026, following initial missions aimed at validating Starship's upgraded V3 configuration. The V3 version's maiden flight will demonstrate the rocket's capacity to reach orbit, deliver payloads, and successfully land at each stage. Critical steps must be taken before the complex refueling process can begin. During the same time frame, the first dedicated Starship HLS prototype is expected to launch. SpaceX is expected to build at least two prototypes, with one intended for uncrewed lunar landing tests and the other for evaluating refueling methods in a real-world mission setting. The uncrewed missions will serve as critical validation, demonstrating that Starship can safely land on the moon. The second prototype will likely focus on testing in-orbit fuel transfer and other systems vital to crewed mission readiness. After this evaluation, the still flyable Starship will be reserved for the first crewed lunar mission under Artemis III. If SpaceX can maintain its progress and efficiently execute a streamlined mission strategy, the company could achieve what once seemed impossible, landing astronauts on the moon within the existing time frame or even sooner. 
recent NASA decisions have placed greater emphasis on the Artemis program. With this increased visibility, opposition is likely to arise. For months, both current and former NASA officials have expressed concerns about SpaceX's Starship development pace, sparking debate about reopening the competition for the Artemis III lunar lander, potentially giving Blue Origin's Blue Moon another chance to compete with SpaceX. However, if SpaceX wins once again, it would reveal a paradox, NASA's lack of trust in its consistently chosen partner. Comparing progress, the results seem predictable. SpaceX's openness and consistent progress are far ahead of competitors still struggling to catch up. While Blue Moon holds promise, it's based on an established design in an untested launch vehicle. New Glenn has only completed one flight, and even with more flights coming, its scalability for Artemis remains in doubt. Without it, NASA will need to rely on expensive and slower alternatives like SLS or Vulcan, neither of which can compete with the reusability or cost-effectiveness of Starship's integrated system. That's it for today's episode. See you next time.